And there's the bell. I think what we could see here is a classic chess match between these guys. I mean, one that's going to take power, speed, and aggression to win. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble and quickly. So what do you think about Seth Rollins? The abilities of Mr. WrestleMania are endless. Don't be fooled by all the death-defying moonsaults and flips and dives. He's really squeezing tight on that figure four. This Seth Rollins has a funny way of making bad situations even worse. This is dangerous. HBK sees the opportunity. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. That'll rearrange your spine. He's pulling out all the stops tonight. You know, Michael, Shawn Michaels might be the perfect balance between attacks by air and by ground. Oh, lights out! makes the cut. Plenty of fight left. You're right. This guy's still near 100%. Wow. Look at the heart of Michaels. Ooh, that one stung. Don't expect a lot of mercy to be shown here. Yeah, none expected and none will be shown. Look out! Cole, what's he got in mind? He's got him hooked! And we're back to this form of attack. Yes, we are. The same form of attack we've seen before. Something an opponent of Shawn Michaels can try and zero in on is his back. It was well documented that his back injury was once considered career-ending. He kept Shawn out of action for five years. I don't think he can fully recover from something like that. Yeah, you know, Cole, you talked about the back of Shawn Michaels. It's definitely an area an opponent should go for, and go for early. Yeah, the famous Anderson Brothers staple back in the day was to isolate a body part and work that body part until your opponent loses all use of it. These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match. Wow, that's a game-changer. With the type of high-impact, highly inventive offense that Rollins possesses, he can change and control the pace of a match with ease. Who can deny facts? I think that's your best bet against the Heartbreak Kid. He'll be able to wrestle you on the mat, hang in there toe-to-toe -to -toe in a slugfest, and fly through the air. But if he's minus the use of something, that increases your chances. Espe wow, that nailed him. What a vicious kick by Rollins. And into the cover. And there are the ropes. Seth Rollins is looking for the decisive end. Great move. Ah. What a move. Oh, that's got to hurt, though. There he makes the cover. It's over. It's all over. Here's your winner, Seth Rollins. Put it in the books. And there was no question about that one. Well, if you didn't believe in this guy before... And there's the bell. Oh, Michael, this is going to be fun to watch. Looking good now.
It'll be interesting to see who becomes the alpha male early in the contest. Yeah, the fight is on for dominance. What do you think about Bray Wyatt? Bray Wyatt emerged in WWE in the summer of 2013, and, well, this company hasn't been the same since. He brought his family with him, and Bray's sights have been set on The Shield, Daniel Bryan, and John Cena. Bray Wyatt has made it very clear he is one dangerous man. You're talking about someone who has all the talent necessary to become one of the all-time greats. Vader's in trouble. This is undoubtedly one of the most intriguing King of the Ring matchups we've seen in a long, long time. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Two! Bray Wyatt on the offensive? Michael, I remember weeks before Bray and his family appeared in video segments that aired on WWE programming. People were frightened. Bray Wyatt is a manipulator and wants to control everyone. Just watch his match from WrestleMania 30 against John Cena and see if I'm not right. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake, one moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Boy, he just got laid out. And he touches that one. Big trouble for Vader. And now Bray Wyatt pushing forward. Well, we're on the move here. We're looking at complete domination here. Five. Look out what's going on here. Six. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love Seven. being outside the ring. King, have you ever seen a 450-pound man move around the ring with the grace of Vader? No, Cole, I swear I really haven't. He moves like a 250-pounder, especially when he takes to the top row. It's time. It's time. It's Vader time. Vader bomb. The Vader bomb has been dropped, and Vader's counting the casualties. No kidding. The big man Vader is vicious here tonight. You can call this a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing. A butt whooping. I can tell you that the competitor who wins this match will undoubtedly be a little worse for wear come time for that second round match. Yeah, but by the time that match comes and the opening bell finally rings, I guarantee you that adrenaline would play a big role in forgetting the pain endured here in this opening round. On the flip side of what we're talking about earlier, Vader can also power through the ring like the proverbial bull in a china shop. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I can feel the breeze all the way over here. Five. Inside the ring now. Finally. Let's get this done inside the ring. Powerful and graceful. That's a dangerous combination Vader possesses. Ray Wyatt being pressed hard. Three. It don't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. You're right, Cole. These two don't like each other. And we're going to find out how much they really do dislike each other in this match. Vader doing some damage. Oh, out here you have to be able to think on your feet lightning fast. One mistake. One moment of hesitation, and you can find yourself in a world of hurt. I don't think there's an area on that. Ba Vader makes the cover. One, two, three. Vader stands. What a tremendous victory. Here's your winner. Near flawless down the stretch. Big 
big win. Sometimes you step into the ring and, well, just refuse to lose. I think that's what we saw here in this match. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here. It's hard to believe the superior skill, form, and ability Randy Orton possesses. That's not even discussing the RKO. It's come down to a battle of attrition right now. Yeah, it could really go either way at this point. Man, what a struggle. He's got his eyes set on his chest. Ladies and gentlemen, Randy Orton's list of rivals throughout his WWE tenure is certainly impressive. When you think of the battles and the wars Orton is engaged in with the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels, you can't help but think how many fans were inspired to pursue a life to become a WWE superstar after seeing such exciting matches. Michael, the matches Randy Orton and Shawn Michaels had were wars. Whether they were going one-on-one -on -one or as members of opposing teams, these two guys went at it. I mean, they put it all on the line. The Viper versus the Heartbreak Kid. Just classic. Folks, if you want to learn about Raw's most tumultuous period, be sure to check out the Monday Night War on WWE Network. Also, Michael, when we talk about Randy Orton's matches with Shawn Michaels, one of the things that I think made their matches so exciting was that both of their finishers can strike so quickly. Sometimes it felt like it was Randy's RKO versus Shawn Michaels' sweet chin music. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho, nobody home that time. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole, what's he going to do here? King, when it comes down to it, all the rivalries, all the matches, all the championships, there's no way Randy Orton versus Shawn Michaels is not going to be a main event. We're talking about two of the best to ever lace up a pair of boots. Three. This guy can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. Four. Sometimes the best offense is a great defense, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh submission leg line. Hurting my legs just watching it. Another incredible battle of Randy Orton's was when he squared off against Batista in a steel cage for the WWE Championship. The match against the former Evolution members took place at Extreme Rules, and believe me, it was brutal. This match is being televised around the world in 18 languages and in over 110 countries. Absolutely amazing. The world is watching, and I guarantee you they're going to love it. The King of the Ring tournament truly is a battle of attrition, wouldn't you say, King? Without a doubt, if I knew what attrition was, the one who goes all the way to the end will undoubtedly be battle 
contested. Jerry, you mentioned when Randy Orton and Batista met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. You and I called that match at the 2009 Extreme Rules pay-per-view, and there were several times we just looked at each other in awe at the brutality Orton and Batista put one another through. It was a battle of two animals. Oh, you're right about that. Orton and Batista's match at 2009's Extreme Rules. Here's the walls of Jericho rising up before our eyes. Adios, sayonara, see you later. And he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent going for the cover. One. Oh, that elbow's got to hurt. Look at this. There's no recovery from that. You can bet that the crowd knows the history of Randy Orton. Makes the cover. One, two, three, three. Wow, what a tremendous victory. Here's your winner, Chris Jericho. And that's a win for Chris Jericho. One step closer to being crowned king of the ring. Yeah, you can bet they're going to be talking about this match for... And there's the bell. Oh, man. Am I ready for this? His midsection taking a lot of damage here. What's your analysis of Bam Bam Bigelow? A ton of talent, a ton of ability. Certainly someone to keep an eye on. Looking good so far. Not much damage, if any, has been absorbed. Quick thinking to avoid that. his tattooed skull, flaming ring gear, and somewhat toothless smile, Bam Bam Bigelow is undoubtedly one of the most intimidating figures in sports entertainment history. Yeah, and Cole, I both competed against and teamed with the Beast from the East, and I can tell you firsthand that the terrifying appearance is only half the deal with this guy. I mean, when it comes to competing in the ring, Bam Bam Bigelow really is an amazing athlete. Like it or not, we may have to get used to calling one of these competitors King. Get ready, folks! Get ready! You mentioned Bigelow's athleticism, which obviously cannot be denied, but he's also an extremely rugged super heavyweight, which is why I think managers were lining up to sign the Beast from the East when he first arrived in WWE in 1987. Momentum is in the corner of Bam Bam Bigelow. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. And he fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. And here's Mankind taking one demented step after the next. It's always alarming when someone is evil. And Mankind nails it. And into the cover. Two. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Just when you think you have Bigelow where you want him, the big man finds a way to kick out. 
And when Bam Bam Bigelow gets going, look out. A thunderous use of the knee. This is exactly how he drew this one up. You're watching Raw, the longest running weekly episodic television program in history. Driven through the mat. You know, if Bam Bam Bigelow can land his patented top rope diving headbutt at any point in this match, I can almost guarantee you that this one's over. I've never seen. Oh my. Bam Bam Bigelow. One, two. You should always worry when this maniac looks happy. And he's starting to look pretty happy in there. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Uh, looking to put it in. Mankind, what a maneuver. Going for the cover. One, and the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. You know, it's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in his tank. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? King, you referenced Bigelow's diving headbutt earlier, but for my money, there's few moves more impactful than the beast from the east sit out reverse pile driver. Oh, you're right. That's not your run of the mill pile driver, Michael. If there's such a thing as one, because when Bigelow lands it, that's nearly 400 pounds driving your skull into the mat. It's simply disastrous. I can tell you that the competitor who wins this match will undoubtedly be a little worse for wear come time for that second round match. Yeah, but by the time that match comes and the opening bell finally rings, I guarantee you that adrenaline would play a big role in forgetting the pain endured here in this opening round. Oh, wow. Well, we're on the move here. Well, here's all you need to know about Bam Bam Bigelow. He's nearly 400 pounds, but executes a flawless moonsault like a man half his size. It's among one of the most awe-inspiring things I've ever seen. And mankind nails it. Looking for all the glory here. Two, three, what a win. Man, he's got to feel great. Here's your winner, Mankind! Mankind has to be happy with that win. Tough loss for Bam Bam Bigelow. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match. And there's the bell. This match has got the hair on the back of my neck standing up, Michael. This is going to be great. Oh, a huge slam. So what do you think about Seth Rollins? We all know the amazing array of moves Seth Rollins has at his disposal to decimate an opponent. What does that tell you about his finishing move? It's a brutal move, driving a man's skull to the mat. Well, on the topic of Seth Rollins here, tell us your thoughts. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. Here's somebody who's willing to do just about anything to get to the top. I like it. That's the way it should be.
Rollins is looking for a way out of this. You're watching Raw for more than 20 years, the premier program in all of sports entertainment. Michael, we have to face facts. The pure cruelty Seth Rollins exudes when he's looking to pay the... And he escapes with a kick out. Now, Cole, if that won't beat this guy, nothing will. Man, Seth Rollins, what offense. And this heartless attack continues. Oh, man. This is getting tough to watch. Wow, that's a game changer. With the type of high-impact, highly inventive offense that Rollins possesses, he can change and control the pace of a match. Crazy move by Seth Rollins. Chris Jericho grew up in Winnipeg, Canada. And Seth Rollins is going for... Oh, look at that. He managed to get a shoulder up. Well, like they say, Cole, timing is everything. What a competitor. Chris Jericho refuses to give up. Ouch. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist, whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not going to be comfortable for a while. He's the guy his opponent, and what's he going for here? He's got him. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Michael, you spoke before about Y2J's father, and that he played for a few different NHL teams. Jericho has actually put on the Rangers jersey himself and played in the Rangers' annual celebrity charity game, which is held every year in Madison Square Garden, a place Jericho knows very well from our WWE event schedule. Look out! The winner of this match, of course, moves on to the finals and competes for the right to be called King of the Ring. Yeah, and what a prestigious honor it is to be king. Believe me, Cole, I should know. Man, talk about putting a target on someone's back. He is just getting busted up. Hey, he's going. And there's the lion saw. Chris Jericho putting the finishing touches on it now. Wow, that lion saw is a thing of beauty when executed by Y2J. Jericho's personal life is fascinating. When Y2J is not winning championships in WWE, as he likes to say, he's the lead singer of his heavy metal band, Fozzy. Jericho's love of performing also extends to Hollywood and comedy, where he's an alumni of the famous improv group known as the Groundlings. Yeah, listen, Michael, no one ever said Chris Jericho is not a talented guy. Quite the contrary. I've seen Jericho play hockey, wrestle, and appear in Hollywood films like MacGruber. Jericho definitely is a man of many passions. Jericho, what a maneuver! I just can't get over the physicality of this match. This has been brutal. Brutal and very, very painful for these guys. Ooh. Seth Rollins has in this business what we call all the tools. Rollins is like That was a blatant disregard for the rules, guys. And there's the bell. Oh, Michael, this is going to be fun to watch. Vader is 
really going to town right now. Uh-oh. Man, he might need to get a new identification photo taken after this one's over. You're not kidding. After this one's over, his own mother won't recognize him. You know, if there's a move that simply defies gravity, it's got to be the Vader salt. It's almost hard to comprehend somebody that big pulling off such a move. And he's toast. Ow. Ooh. This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. Vader has done an absolute number here in the early goings. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house has been empty for months. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. You're right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. King, you're right about the Vader salt. 450-pound men just aren't supposed to fly through the air the way that Vader does. Yeah, and if he doesn't get you with that, Vader's sure to flatten you with the Vader bomb. It'll be interesting to see who becomes the alpha male early in the contest. Yeah, the fight is on for dominance. Knocked the breath out with a crushing kick to the gut. I wouldn't be able to breathe for a week. Making a statement here. I'm not sure I can watch this. Four. Man. Oh, once you get out of the ring, anything can happen. Five. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades. And all of it could be used to cause massive damage. King, we've used the word deranged to describe mankind in the past. But to be honest, I don't think that he even begins to explain just how disturbed this guy really is. Yeah, you're right. It's more like he's deranged, disturbed, certifiable, and flat out weird. And mankind nails it. The shoulders are down. statement as we speak he's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here all oh, these shots are too much how's mankind still in this match i'm gonna tell you this is the definition of brutality michael i think this match is providing an update to the term getting back to what makes up mankind whether it's him being deranged certifiable or whatever it is the bottom line is that it seems to be working for him Vader drops the Vader bomb. Say goodnight. We'll see you on the flip side. Bombs away. <laughs> Vader showing us how to get it done. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. Vader doing some damage. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. And he gets out of the way. Slams down with a big leg drop. Oh, man, that's almost all your weight falling on him. You're right, Cole. Deranged fits mankind well. I don't know if that's a compliment, but it's the truth. He's got it locked in. Will this be it? He's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one paint. Going for the cover. One, two, What a match! Uh-oh. He's in position. Ready to strike. This match may end right here. Not today. Too fast.
This match has been 100 miles per hour since the opening bell. Oh, and I don't see any slowing down in the future. This is a great matchup. I'm loving it. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. We're looking at complete domination here. Once a body part is identified as weak, it continues to be the focal point of an attack. Well, you can't blame the person. If it's working, you gotta do it. Not this! That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Makes the cover. Executed. He sees it. Look out. Oh, submission. The hole's locked in. Really going to work here. Just wrenching that thing. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he going to do next? Oh, he's in trouble now. Oh, gosh. Watch out. This is going to get really have to tap out right here. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one paint. There's the cover. Can he do it? I think he's got him. There's somebody that's under me. It's over. It's all over. Here's your winner, Matt And there's the bell, and the third round about to begin. One of these competitors will soon be in the King of the Ring Finals. The career of Chris Jericho has literally spanned the globe. Jericho trained in the famous Heart Dungeon in Calgary, Canada. He competed in Mexico, Japan, Smoky Mountain, ECW, and WCW, all before coming to WWE. And in WWE, well, Jericho has done it all, including being the first ever undisputed WWE champion. A textbook maneuver there. Cole, what's he got in mind? Michael, oh. you should know by now that I don't mince words. Like I said before, Jericho has Dude. done it all in this industry. Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if one day he finagles his way into a Divas title reign. Four. This will be a physical battle. You're right about that, Cole. This is going to be a war. This could be so physical that it gets really ugly before it's over. Six. Here we go, back inside the ring. What do you mean we? We're still outside the ring, Cole. It's them, they're inside the ring. Oh no, 
Wait a minute, Cole, what's he gonna do here? Cole, the last thing I would want if I was in the ring with Mankind would be to get hit with the mandible claw. Oh, who knows when the last time he washed those nasty hands. Historically, superstars who have won the King of the Ring have gone on to achieve great success in the months and years that followed. What an attack. You must be able to expand your chest in order to breathe. I bet he feels like he's inside an anaconda. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Well, I don't blame him. Keep the action inside the ring. That's where you're going to win this thing. Not a lot of spring left in this step right now. I'm willing to bet there are plenty of superstars who share your feeling on the mandible claw, King. And I'd have to imagine that the threat of possibly having it cinched on is just as bad as actually having it cinched on. Yeah, I don't know which is worse, Cole. And I'd have no designs on finding out. Jericho in trouble. Mankind making his statement as we speak. We're looking at complete domination here. He's endured heavy blows here. I don't know how much longer he can go. The referee may have to call this match, King. And Mankind nails it. He is slowly getting dissected. Great match here, but if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com to catch up on all the action. I go, look at this hole. He may have him here. King, we've used the word deranged to describe mankind in the past, but to be honest, I don't think that he even begins to explain just how disturbed this guy really is. Yeah, you're right. It's more like he's deranged, disturbed, certified covers. One, two, three. These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. This might not end well. He's got it locked in. Will this be it? Oh, he's got to do whatever he can here to try to break this hole. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. It appears that part of the game plan heading into this match was to attack the back. This is undoubtedly one of the most intriguing King of the Ring matchups we've seen in a long, long time. Two. Three. You can bet every superstar on the roster is crowded around the monitors in the back to see. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he going to do next? And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. One. I don't want to know what that feels like. Two. Yeah, well, I've felt it before. And you're right. You don't want to know. Three. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from Four. one painful move to another. for tuning into this episode of Raw. I'm sure you are just as entertained as we are. And there goes the table. Well, all bets are off now. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Man, Chris Jericho, what a bet. Three. Look at Jericho go. We've seen this man at his very best. Right now, Y2J firing on all cylinders. You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What Six. happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. Seven. Now back to the ring. 
Jericho setting up the walls. We may see a tap. God, look at the walls of Jericho. We're just about done here. Chris Jericho knows it. And I think the uh, universe knows it as well. The fat lady's tuning up. Just a dominating display. Yeah. I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. There's the pin. Ken is upon a kick out. King are just moments away from crowning a new King of the Ring. And one of these competitors will go down in history alongside the many legendary names that have worn the crown in the past. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Mankind, what a maneuver. Like I said, those moves don't win the match in one go. Hey, the one, shoulders are down. Two. The King of the Ring tournament truly is a showcase in endurance. You have to be in peak physical condition to successfully navigate through each round. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. his statement as we speak and into the cover Two. I can't believe this one's still going on especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight it's over that's gotta be it oh there it is what a maneuver that's how you put away this should do it right there I think this Two. is it win here's your winner mankind and he picks up the win bad job by chris jericho here tonight you just can't go out like that boy i don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home not with action like we just saw